That's awesome. That's why you come up north, eh, for the nice walleye. Welcome to Poplar Point. All right, time to get some groceries. We're here. Walmart, North Bay. Hey, are you the average Joe's? Yeah. How what are, are you, you buying? Some food. Yeah, big trip. Big trip. What you got there, buddy? Nice. Geared up with all our groceries. Thanks, Walmart. Now we're back on the road. A couple more hours, eh? Uh, Where are we headed? Elk Lake. Kind of. To the Poplar Point Camp. Poplar Long Point Camp. Long Point Lake. There we go. I'm excited. We're going to catch fish. Uh, uh. We got to get there. 902. 90210. What did we get? Hash browns are fire from McDonald's. They are good. Eh? Mm -hmm. So good when you're hungover, but I'm not hungover today. But... So yeah, like Lyle said, we're headed up to Poplar Point Camp and it's located right between Elk Lake and Goganda, Ontario. We're headed up about five hours north of where we live. So it's gonna be a good little haul. We're already in North Bay, so we're making good time. Wow. We're gonna catch some fish. The plan tonight is walleye and pike. So. Big shout out to uh, Shelly and Nick. You're gonna see them in a few minutes. They are the owners of Poplar Point Lodge. They invited us out and we're gonna make some YouTube videos to help them get in front of some more eyes. So check out this video and uh, see what it's all about because it's a beautiful site, beautiful camp, and uh, we'll show you everything in a few minutes when we get there. Yeah, gotta check the link below. This is where we are, check them out and uh, yeah, if you enjoy what you see, make sure you head up there yourself. It's gonna be worth it. I have a very good feeling about this weekend. It's March 1st today, so we're gonna end up catching some fish. I think we're gonna do well tonight. We're gonna get some walleye and hopefully some pike this afternoon. We gotta pick up some minnows on the way, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hammer them. So stay tuned, here we go. there buddy oh we made it to Elk Lake almost there we're here we're gonna get some minnows from Elk Lake baits so if you're in the area check them out we give them a call and they are fully loaded with minnows so appreciate that and she said follow them on Facebook and she will let you know if she's out of minnows she keeps so, you updated so don't come all the way up here and not have minnows, right? So. <laughs> We're in the north. For sale. All the necessities. That's 50. Oh, we passed it. Did we? Oh, well, don't stop here. We'll go to LCDO first. Okay. We'll get uh, drinks and then, uh, then we'll go get minnows. <laughs> Drove by. We're getting minnows. We'll, well, we're here at Elk Lake Baits. This is cool. Serve yourself. Yeah. This is just like back home at my place. We'd always, there's always a self serve. Base, $7 for a dozen. And then suckers are a dollar each. Okay, so let's gotta make sure we're fair, right? Good trope, Minos. Okay, three. Three. Four, five, six. Not many suckers, but we're gonna get what's there. There's two. Look at that one. 
That's a good one. Three. Got him. Six, seven. That's good, bud. Seventeen. Seven. Awesome. Bait acquired. Luck out, Lyle. We're here, buddy. Poplar Point Camp. Cottages, beach, camping, fishing, hunting, boat, and motor rentals. What year is it established? 1948. Oh, there's some history here. There is some history. We'll have to maybe bug them. You think there's ever been any uh, average Joes fishing out here? We are the first. We're north, Lyle. We're here, bud. Yellow trim. Look at the people with machines. Wow. There it is over there. Yellow trim. Home sweet home. Well, we should go introduce ourselves at the main house. I think so. Well, let's go introduce ourselves and then we'll uh, get camp set up and then we'll go fishing. Sounds good, buddy. All right. <laughs> Hi, we're uh, Nick and Shelly Talpin. We're, uh, we're the owners of Poplar Point Camp. We have uh, six uh, waterfront cottages on Long Point Lake. Uh, we've just got some, uh, some good uh, walleye and pike and bass fishing right here on the uh, right of the camp. And then we have all sorts of trout lakes around us. We have bear hunt packages, um, yep. ice fishing, two ice huts available for rent in the winter. Um, we can get you to and from remote lakes. Uh, we have a nice sand beach, goes all the way around the whole property. Uh, we have kayaks, uh, boat and motor canoes. rentals. Yeah. Okay. And how far are you from everywhere? Six hours north of Toronto, seven from Ottawa area, three from North Bay. Nice and close. Nice yeah, absolutely. And it's a little chunk of paradise, eh? Oh, hidden, <laughs> hidden up here in the north. Yeah. You you might even be lucky enough to see some lynx and some moose on the way up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And uh, family friendly. Very. Absolutely. Yes. Bring your kids. Yes. We have a little uh, little playground, playground, a nice shallow beach for the families and kids to to walk out. Nice. Um, we have two children too, so we know what it's like to vacation with little ones. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and what about pets? Pet friendly. Pet friendly, yes. good. Our furry friends may belong here. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are open to sled season as well, snowmobiling. 12 months a year. Yeah, we're open 12 <laughs> months a year. 12 months Absolutely. a year. 24-7, 365. Yeah, four season uh, camp. Nice. Yeah. Good. So everybody make sure and check them out. We're here. We're here, buddy. Let's go. Let's take a tour. Living room, pull out bed, gone fishing, bait and tackle shop. Very nice living room. Nice. An old Chesterfield. Oh, definitely gonna watch the hockey game here tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, this is comfy too. Is it my snuggling room? Oh God, yeah, this is nice. Oh, you just sink right It's in. good, eh? Oh. Wow. The old Chesterfields are the best Chesterfields. Oh, yeah, you just sink right in. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Kitchen, looks good, nice dining table, everything you need, a sink, a toaster, I was hoping for that. Nice stove, propane I assume. Room number one, oh. oh, with a lighter. Oh, that's probably for the propane. Probably. Oh, there's two. That's actually, uh, I don't know, I kind of like this room. You I get like the view of the lake. Yeah, I like this room. I'll take the big bed. Okay. I'll have the little bed and I'll have the other bed for my stuff, lay out all my stuff. Yeah, I'll take, look at this, ready? Let's take a test. Oh, is that ever nice? Look is it? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Oh, oh it is pretty nice. It's nice. This is nice. Oh. Maybe we'll share a room. You want to sleep together? <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom. 
Well, there's a note. Please keep bathroom door open when not in use so water doesn't freeze. Well, that makes sense. Let's not freeze the water this week. Let's try not to, no. Shower. Very nice. Nice and clean. View of the lake while you poop. Microwave. Fridge. Freezer. I guess we'll bring everything in now, eh? Yeah. All right, let's go grab the fishing gear, buddy. Okay. Minnows, already out of the truck. I'm in talkies. No. Oh, nice. I like that idea. Like you said, I Medium and a light. I brought heavy and two mediums. There's my chair. Chair. Oh God. Go in. Uh. We're taking our gear to the deck. <laughs> We're taking our gear to the lake. Is there a front deck? Yeah. Cabin number one at. Poplar Point Lodge on Long Point Lake. Beautiful spot here. Look at the big hill across the lake. Yeah. Beauty. Awesome. Well, let's check the depth maps. Yeah, so if you don't know, boating, marine charts, and GPS on Google. So sometimes Navionics won't have every lake, but sometimes this does. So we looked up where we are. We're at Long Point. And this is our end of the lake. So zoom in here we're camped show where we're camped first we're camped on one one of these two the, points the point right here i think no the other one this one yeah so we're there so there's a nice deep hole it gets to about 35 feet deep it says and there's a nice big point there kind of where oh let's just we're gonna go try that point right where the cursor is somewhere right straight across from the camp so if we get fish tonight you know where we're going that's the plan stan around find trout but we're going for walleye. <laughs> Rundan, what's the plan, buddy? Looks like you're ready to go fishing. Yeah, I'm ready to go fishing, bud. What time is it? 1.35. Sun's high in the sky. And uh, time to catch some walleye. Here we go. Let's go, bud. I think the green one is their rental. What a beauty day. Our view of the camp from the lake. Sun's high. The sun's high, the walleye will fry. That's ice here. Yeah. We're mapping out a little area here, figuring out our depths. We went to that point, now we're coming over here. All right, best spot we found was off the second point we tried. Right here. Alright, Lyle's drilling some holes for some lines. I'm gonna get the shack set up here. What do you got going on there, bud? Changing her out. That's not working right there. What are you gonna put on now? Should I put on the dinner bell? Sure. White dinner bell. Wow. Dinner is served, why? underneath me yet. He's underneath me, bud. Who's oh, coming to you? Coming to you. Oh, he did it! Oh. He stole my minnow. Oh, he dropped it. What's happening? Where's the fish? Not here. Oh, right here. 
going. What the hell? That's a pike, bud. Oh yeah. Oh, he's swung at you again. <laughs> that was a pike. Yeah. He was just so fast. Yeah, that's a pike. Why doesn't he, he hit? He bet you. No, he didn't bite. I thought you hooked him. No, I was. I reeled up and then I was letting line out and then he friggin' swung at it. Oh. Oh, oh, there he goes up uh, up near the top. He hit the crazy. Yeah, he user. did. I saw that. Look, there he is. at you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Play him out. Like, slimer. <laughs> hit the transducer, though. He did. He bit it. Yeah, he came and grabbed it. We saw him. You can see that on the screen. He came flying down on the, the transducer. I was going like this. Did he ever inhale it? Pass me your pliers there, bud. In here. So there is fish in this lake. Apparently. There we go. First fish of the trip. Yeah, bud. Monster pike. That's it. About a 15 or 17 inch or probably. <laughs> All right. We should put him on the bump board. Let him go yeah. down your hole. Sure. God. not going as planned. We didn't pick the right spot to begin with, I don't think. I think that was issue number one. But we've We're also fishing walleye how we do at home, but also kind of mid-winter style, which I think we should be well, moving also, towards late winter, shallow. I've also missed two walleye. Which, yeah. Which well, would have made this spot better. Yeah. It wasn't a bad spot, I guess. If we would have caught every fish we marked, that bit, that's three bites we had that we didn't get. Yeah. We're average, but we gotta at least get one or two. A little pike, I guess. Well, it's for something. There's a fish. There's a fish. I don't know how many fish you caught today, but. <laughs> you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Channel. We're wrapping up this evening <laughs> and uh, we're not done with Long Point Lake. We are new to the spot, obviously, first day. Missed a few fish, <laughs> happens. But we're gonna go where the locals tell us to go next time. That's right. And probably tomorrow evening or Sunday evening, we will be here to give it round two. We will be back in about right now. When? Right now. When? Right now. Alright, so we're out for the evening walleye bite. We're gonna be fishing out the shack here tonight, one of the ones they put out for visitors like us. I said eight to ten feet. Eight to ten feet, so it might not be too bad. Just a good drop right off this point here. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Hopefully the walleye wanna cooperate and uh, the walleye cooperated last time. We didn't capitalize. Hopefully we capitalize and our cap is just over there on the other side of that other shack. We don't know who's that one is, but this is theirs. So we're going to borrow it tonight and uh, see what we can do. As long as we got a few fish, it really doesn't matter. We're having a great time up here, so. What do you got going on here? I'm going to make a little fire. It's not cold, but why not? Something to do. I like poking around at a fire. Look at everything's already provided in here in the shack. All you need is a lighter. They probably even have one of them around here somewhere. Yeah, up top I see one. Perfect. We're gonna make a little fire though. And I love how this little stove is off to the side in the shack. I was just saying to Lyle, when we build one, which we plan to do in the next few years, build some sleeper shacks, that's handy. Just having it out of the way. Nice metal backdrop, keeps the heat in. Quack, quack, quack. 
Kindling provided. Fully stocked, eh? Fully stocked, yep. Hey, I think that's going now. Think so? Yep. Why would you say that? <laughs> it looks like you always have a bite. Because it's low. Because it's low. Yeah, but now the flight will be on and there's a bite. Yeah. Oh, your rod's in the hole. It's gone. Look at him. He's on there. Oh yeah. Is he there? Yeah. Pike! Yeah. <laughs> Monster! Oh, you got us. Look at you go. Monster. Pull him up. Big fish in the north. Back you go. Bye. Oh, your flag's gone and the line's peeling. Oh, yeah. His line is peeling. Got him? Yep. Another pike. <laughs> Not game fish. <laughs> Beauty. Another nice, they're nice colors. Oh yeah. Very nice looking fish. They said there's up to 20 pounds in here when we were talking to Nick and Shelly earlier. Beauty looking fish. Yep, yeah. let them go. Good and healthy release. Somebody's coming to say hi. Yeah. No, I just wanted to drive through her. <laughs> Our setup. What the f was that about? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Guy. What the f is that? He's got a friggin' fire fireplace in the bottom of his sled, just smoking. <laughs> yes, he does. It's on film. It was just puffing as it went by. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> what was that? He went 20, 20 feet from us. <laughs> What? Let him eat it. Go. Walleye! Yes! I had a bee bud. Got him! That's a keeper! We're having fish tonight! We did it! We did it! Yeah. Beauty. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. On the mud minnow and the jig head. Yeah. Show that. Lyle had the idea earlier when we Look were fishing trout. Was still in his. Still alive. He said, I'm gonna go with a smaller presentation. There. Beauty. He's gonna be dinner. Beauty. I, yeah, I had the idea of trout fishing. I said, well, most of those marks seemed a bit smaller, so. Instead of a big sucker, I just put on this mud minnow. I'll just drop him back down. Dead will be okay. It don't matter. Probably not even dead. And just, just an orange jig head. And I just had him sitting there like that. And I said, there's a bite. So then I came and I got him. Nice buddy. Just like that. Good stuff. That walleye is the same as we were catching all that. Uh, er, would have had the other night. Like Last night, all yeah, about that size. The one that I missed at the hole was probably slightly bigger. Yeah. We marked one last the first one that came in early last night was a nice mark. 
the first mark that we had on the live stream. Mm -hmm. That's good though, you got one. Yeah. I'm gonna get freaking tight. Whatever bites there, will be a better fish. Oh, that wow. wouldn't, that wall, I wouldn't bite that. No. I have a 10 inch or 8 inch sucker on there. So filter out the small ones. I'm going for quality. You can get all the little ones you want, suckers. You know? I don't see you catching anything. The big one is gone. Yeah, there's something there. I don't need it. I was just feeling the middle. What's that? He's down there. I was just hanging on the flag and just huh. <clears throat> crammed it. Yeah. Hello. I think your flag's gone, bud. Behind you. Oh yeah. Probably a nice walleye. Nice walleye, big one. Oh, look at that. Broke my line. Good, keep her anyway. <laughs> We're eating good tonight. Look at that. Have to take him in the shock, but he's probably cheap. <laughs> yeah, right on, buddy. What's, What's your name? It's a Marcelin Muni. I'm very French. I'm uh, they Polish. Call, they call me Mars, so that's a, that's a nice, nice one. walleye right there. That's a boy. nice one, buddy. Yeah. What the f with the nose? Yeah, he's oh, got man. some growth on him. <laughs> well, lucky you don't eat the nose, eh? <laughs> okay. The cheeks are good, but the nose pass <laughs> on the nose. Come on in, Mars. Lots of room in here. Ah, come on in. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do your filming thing there. I just, like I've caught a lot of walleyes in my days. I've never. That's seen gross. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's bleeding. Well, it's not on the body. There's no growth on the body. Oh, you'd be fine. No, you get, there's, I've seen walleye at home with growths on them, but never like that. Like, was there a hook stuck like, in them maybe or something for fish and wildlife? And I've never seen that. Hey, like, it's, it's probably just the... Uh, it's bleeding too, it's funny. Yeah. But I, I uh, that's what I was saying to Lyle, that's why I put a big sucker on, because a big bait means what? Big, big fish. Big exactly. Bait, big, fish. Big, big bait, big fish. You got her. So what's that? Probably, a, I got the tape. Like 20, yeah, that, always a little better than that. 20, 23, he's going to push 24 and some, I think. We'll see what he is. That goes to 22. Oh, he's past that. He's got to be past that. Um, yeah. yeah, no, he is. You're right. Oh, it's probably 23. 23, he's, old, he's going to be oh, old. He'd be 24. Oh, he'd, be, he'd, be 24. he'd be 24. Yeah, yeah he'd, he'd be 24. 24. He's just a little skinny. He's mad. Let me go, he says. Look, look at that, too. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's why you come up north, eh, for the nice walleye. Not quite as yellow as the ones at home, eh? Nope. Darn. That is, you, you will catch a lot of the yellow ones. Look, look at that, gross. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a horn. Yeah. This is know. a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. We're just going to compare here. I'm. I, Lyle said he wasn't sharing with me when he caught his, so... Uh, I guess I'm eating good. Yeah, <laughs> better than me. Well, what do you think, buddy? I think it's time to go back and cook up some fish. Yeah. Eight o'clock now, we've stayed out late tonight. We stuck it out and it paid off. Like I said, big bait, big fish. So for in here, that guy was like, oh, that's a big one, eh? He was, he was excited. Oh yeah. That was cool. We're gonna pack her in. But it was a very fun time out here on Long Point Lake. I don't know if we're going to get to fish it anymore this weekend. Tomorrow we have some big plans. That was definitely a success, catching that fish. Well, I've got a walleye too. I'm, I'm knocking him a little bit because he chirped me there. I don't know if that was on video. He said I couldn't have any of his fish to eat tonight, so... He might just have a taste. And I'm yeah. going to have a smorgasbord. <laughs> well... I think we got her cleaned up, eh? Yeah. Looks Everything good. looks good. Yeah. Better than how we found it. All right, we're back at the camp. All right. Time to clean up the 
goods from this evening. We don't have a cutting board here, so we put down the uh, dishwasher mat. <laughs> this guy definitely has cheek meats. You can literally peel cheek meat off the skin. Just like that. Nice cheek meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big that's a big male. So that's honestly that's a good fish to keep. Oh. Came out of his belly. Perch. Is it? Looks like it. Alright. Just got it back. Nice bowl of soup. Potatoes. Mm. Oh, a little soup. Barbecue sauce in your soup. Well it's come almost like more of a stew. A chicken stew. You're kind of wild though with your barbecue sauce, you know that? Like, I think you have a problem. Look. Is there any chicken in my <laughs> soup? <laughs> I told you, it was one whole chicken. It was 10 pounder. 10 pounder chicken. Mm -hmm. They're hot. Is it hot? hot? I didn't want you to have cold soup. 13 inches. 11. 15 and a half inches. Oh. Why do you give me 15 and a half? Hmm. You know. You know about it. Who told you? Heard. You just heard. <laughs> Alright. Just cleaned up. Did the dishes. Almost made another mess. Everything's packed up. Beds are made. Camp's good. Camp's clean. So this was an amazing adventure up here in Northern Ontario. And like you heard, not too far from the big cities. So venture your way on up here to Poplar Point Camp and uh, check it out for yourselves. This was an awesome fishing expedition, a good weekend trip. Had a great time. Yeah, the owners are very hospitable and it was very, uh, it was just very enjoyable overall. So mm -hmm. home away from home. That's right. That's how it felt. So mm -hmm. until next time, I'm Brennan Sabolski. And I'm Lyle Hendrick. And we, we are, are the Average Shows. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. subscribe.